Hi guys, how are you going? Okay, so we're going to make the papers today for um, the landscape that I'm going to do on a quite a large canvas. And we need to make mu numerous pieces of paper that are similar. So um, I'm using, I mean, and if you know how to do that, that's this is fabulous. So when you're setting up a big um, picture, you kind of have to work with the papers that you need to collage in after. Um, so I'm using today, I'm using a couple of my stencils. Um, this kind, this one's kind of like cut out like this and this has got long tendrils. Um, I'm going to use a kind of a, a greeny blue, um, this is a like a Payne's Grey that I've mixed and I've got this green and I'm going to put that on the background first uh, and I probably need about four sheets. So I'm going to use those two stencils but I'm also going to use um, a line one I've made um, like this. You've probably got similar ones kicking about your studios. These ones. So this is just the land, you know. I think in, uh, you'll see that I use these in um, in the smaller ones that I did in the journal of the small, you know, with the people in it. Okay, so I'm going to use these. I'm actually going to make probably six pieces of A4, like just six pieces of paper. Um, so yes, that's, um, and they're obviously going to be like a, the A4 and I'm just using this for the moment, just so I know exactly what I'm doing and the colors and so forth and mixing. So this is a bit of a practice for it before I use, um, tissues and rice papers. So for on here, um, so what I'm going to do. Uh, so you can zoom forward. I might stop talking now. <laughs> and you can just watch if you want. I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to darken that up. And I might even add a little bit of purple. Which is... Um, just going to add some interest to the colour. going to turn into a nice sort of a bluey grey blend. Make sure you blend it all really well. So this is the base. There's quite a lot of ink, a lot of, a lot of paint I put on. So I kind of want this back background colour on um, all of the pieces. So, just the first one, just give it a light, as you get less paint you'll have to push a little bit harder. Should be able to do, I reckon, about three with this perfect colour. But this one's getting a bit thin on the third, but that's okay. So, when you're creating papers to use on a bigger canvas, um, I don't, I don't actually ever like them to be exactly the same because that would be very boring, wouldn't it? Um, so I kind of like, it's probably one of the reasons I love um, using the jelly plate because they're always just that slightly uh, different tone or they pull up something that you've, you know, been doing. So you can see they've got a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter from that first pull, 
but they are still all you know the same tone so you can use them in your work with the different layers when you're working with the picture now I will do just a couple more please zoom through if you've you know and this one might be a little bit green a bit lighter is it just add a bit of that homemade paints gray to it I like just using the old black or the gray that comes in the tube it gives much more color when you mix your own all right so I'm just going to pull these two same way as I did before. if you're actually using the right paper you would have them all cut out perfectly it's just that I'm demoing on this and that last one will be cleaning the brayer onto the plate and pulling that giving it a good Rub down and also, I mean, you could after pulling that, you should, you could also make sure your bra is completely clean since it is only a background. You could just do that. So I've got six now, six pieces. There's not much difference between them. Actually, that was pretty good. Um, all right, now, next layer. So I've got my paper, so I don't need that anymore. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use um, a burnt sienna. I might do like this one first actually and that one and I'm just going to pull that on the pull this onto the lightest piece so the last piece that was pulled actually just to get rid of those bits inside the stencil make sure you rub it all down as you all know make sure you pull it all up you can check all right so that's um that's the first layer now before I move these stencils away I'm actually just going to run the brayer over the top now that's actually just going to drag a little bit um, onto the top surface and I'm going to see if I can just pull that on the other find the last the other the other last pull so the one that didn't have that much ink on it in the first place Paint. Why do I keep saying ink? I've been working with ink, that's fine. Now, so there's the difference between those. There are not very much difference between them, really. Yeah? 
This one even has pulled up a little bit more brown from where I rolled over and cleaned the brayer on it, but other than that. So that's the second layer. Now on here, okay, so on here I'm actually going to add some of the panes grey on the top. Now, I sometimes spray it with a bit of water, which is very unconventional, I know, <laughs> but that's me. Because I like the unevenness of everything. So I'm just getting one of the, now this is quite damp, so you don't need to push it too hard. This is just the second layer. So you're going to pull that up. Don't push it too hard. It's going to be that beautiful Payne's Grey instead of the um, instead of the brown burnt umber, ah, burnt sienna, I should say, burnt sienna. I'm just going to put that onto the second one, like so. So those are the two. This one can be pushed a bit harder. So that's that's on the dark background. So I've got two backgrounds left. I'm going to take that off and that off. And I'm actually going to put one on there. And on the last one, okay. So basically, I've got six pieces of paper that are actually very, very similar, but with different layers of colours and patterns are uh, the same at this point. So there's that one. So I'll just, I might just video actually all of them together. That's one, the last one, second last one. They're not dried yet though, but um, and there's this two-tone one. So these ones are just, and then it goes to the very original ones. All right, so you've got these six wonderful bases now to work on again. Now, I've put a bit of um, the Payne's Grey and white and some, it's kind of green oxide green on the plate. Well, mixing it. So, now you can see. Uh, now I've got this this green, it's very olivey kind of a green looking. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that onto the top for more onto the top of these. Now, because I don't want that much actually, so I'm just going to add some dots maybe on some of them. But I will add some lines on other bits. Uh, it's a bit of a play, but I think I'll go for the brown, this one first. And I'll do it with the lines over the top. Because that is the first bit. That's the one that's got very little paint on it, really, at this point is its third pull. Lola, what's the matter? Good girl, lie down. Oh, beautiful and subtle. Okay, very nice. Now, I could do the same thing that I did last time and bring that 
the other side of the texture onto this one. This is the other one that I was working with. The last print. The, the one that doesn't have as many much paint on it. There's two. There's two of everything. There's two like really strong ones, two middle ones and two light ones. I'm just going to use that. Oh, and we've decided to pick up. Oh, I do love it when it does things like that. Nice. Okay, so it's picked up, as you can see, it's picked up from this plate with the beautiful turquoise on it. So that'll add interest. And I'm going to add white on the top now because I reckon since it started I'm just going to meld that around blend it in a bit I'm just going to really, really lightly put this one on, like, like really lightly. Might be even too white. On the last. Just want a bit of light contrast on there. I'm just doing this quickly. Last one, I'm going to have a little bit more. Okay. Awesome. Now, the next... Okay. Now, I don't know which one I actually want, raw sienna or um, red oxide. There's not really, you know, one's just a bit stronger than the other. So, um, I might just play with both of those at the moment. And I want the... I just want these lines, lines of the earth at the moment now on these. So this is the uh, fourth, fifth. Looking beautiful. Okay, so I've got that very dark grey one. Um, I might just rub this over the top like I and put that on this one. take these off for the moment and I'm going to put it on this one I don't want too much oh, I love it yeah yeah okay 
and I might just pull the rest up on that other light colour. So it's a matter of playing, but I'm not playing with any other, I'm playing on all of them with the same colour. So even though the patterns might be slightly different, the strength of colour might be slightly different, um, they will all blend together because, um, so these two are very similar. This is much stronger, but it still will blend together when I'm doing the collage and you will see because of the dots, because of the dark in here. This one might need more, a little bit more dark in here to make it blend a little bit more. I might do some that way. Cross can of the land. Okay, so maybe I'll do that. That's a good idea. Just gonna make this a bit red. The uh, Payne's grey. And the red oxide. Let's just make it a real Like these swirls of the land. This is the other one. I quite like these. Just going to pop a very light coat on that one. That's looking fabulous. I love that. Okay. And pop some of that on there. So this is where I start building the piece of paper up to look kind of like how I want it to. And you'll find that there'll be, like out of those six pieces of paper, there'll be, there'll be probably three or four that are absolutely awesome that you're going to utilise and the other two are, you know, not quite there. Now you can keep on working on them. Um, absolutely could keep on working on them just with the colours that you've got on you. Make it lighter, darker. This one just needs a little bit. to show you all of them um, but I love um, I feel like this I have to do a little couple more dots on one of them because that's lacking <laughs> just going to throw the dot pattern on there
Right. I'm gonna clean my bra in that. That's that's enough. Just clean that off onto a scrap case. Okay. Now, so I will show you. So, raw sienna, red oxide, Payne's grey, burnt sienna, white and green oxide, kind of the colours I used. The base one I used a little bit different, but um, with a bit of purple and stuff in it, just to give it some, that blue. Now, these are, I think I'll, um, I might take photos of these. I think that's probably, these three might be my favorites. Um, and it's funny, but look how, see, this one looks far greener than this one, even though it's got the same base background on it. But it is the only one. So I obviously had a lot of green on that one. But um, these will all go together. And they're all, just full of so many different areas that you can collage with, um, which I will show you. So, you know, um, and that, like, okay, this is the, the first the first step. Um, I will take photos of those six pieces so that you can see that not all of them were fabulous. This last one was not quite as fabulous. It needs more work on top of it. And I think this one might even it might need something on top of it too. But um, these three I'm really happy with. <laughs> All right, okay. See you next week. Um, and I will be creating with these very soon, but I am actually just going to make all the papers um, first up and then make the collage from that. So this is the first step. All right, have a great week. Bye.